Okay, so in this question, uh, a projectile is fired horizontally from the top of a cliff. The projectile hits the ground four seconds later at a distance two kilometers from the base of the cliff. So from the base of the cliff, the body has reached two kilometers away and the time taken was four seconds. Uh, what is the height of the cliff? So the diagram for the same will look somewhat like this. Like let us say this is the projectile and we have uh, kicked the ball or it's a missile, whatever you can call. So it's a projectile that is fired horizontally and it is bound to go like this. So this position is basically two kilometers away from the foot of the cliff. Okay. And the time taken was four seconds. And time taken is four seconds. Now in this, <clears throat> uh, so we know that the formula for the time period is always root of 2h by g. And from there, we can find the range is not actually required in this question. So the time period will be four second. Uh, 2h by g can be taken as 10. 16, 2h by 10. 8. It will be 80 meters. Yes. So there is the answer. So in this question, as we can see that uh, the data that is given to us is more than what is actually required. So it is done generally to confuse the student. So don't get confused. Range is a completely different thing. And as far as the time of the motion is concerned, uh, the time of flight is concerned, it is based only and only on the one thing. What is the height of the building? It is independent of the velocity u. We know that the formula for time period is root of 2h by g. You can derive it by, um, by concentrating on its uh, vertical motion. And we can say that the u is 0 for the vertical motion. And then s is equal to ut plus half gt square. This will be taken as 0. s will be plus h half into gt square. And from here, we find the formula that I have I have used here, root of 2h by g. Okay. So this is how we derive it. And I think the concept should be 100% clear now. All the best.